The following is a presentation of TFNN. The Trader's Edge with Steve Rhodes. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648 or internationally at 727-873-7618. The Trader's Edge. Now, Steve Rhodes. Good morning, folks. Welcome to the June 30th, the fantastic Friday edition of today's Trader Z Show. I'm your host, Stevie Perseverance Rhodes, who absolutely knows that each of us should always be pioneers of our future versus prisoners of our past. Hope everyone out there is having a great day. And let's make sure we have an extraordinary one. And the easiest way to do that, well, it's to always remember that life is happening for us, not to us. That's right. When you and I make that one little two by four shift, it means we can find the gift in every set of circumstance that life is going to toss at us. Now, today, you and I, we're going to go check on the circumstance of these markets. We'll go figure out what those bulls and bears, what those buyers and sellers are communicating to you and I at just past 11 o'clock in the morning. I do want you to know I'm absolutely grateful for your presence here. But even more important than that, and that's this. During this next 53 minutes, I'm here to serve you. So feel free to pick up that phone. You can dial on in at 877-927-6648. Now, if you've got a question but you can't dial in, you can always send me an email. Send that off early. Send it to steve at tfnn.com. And inside the subject heading, please put radio show question. Now, if you're inside our Tigers Den, well, then any and every ping will do so let's go ahead and get this show started on fantastic friday of course this is tiger financial news network i'm steve rhodes welcome to the show right now we got pretty much a rally across the board the things that aren't rallying spot volatilix it's trading lower you've got the trannies they're down about 88 points and the u.s dollar index back up 40 cents and uh, looks like the uh, uh, yen is uh, getting a little bit stronger here this morning. You've got the Dow up 220 points, six tenths percent. S and P up a little over one percent at 47 points, one and six tenths for the Nasdaq 100, 240. Russell's up a half a percent, nine points there, one and a half percent for the semis. Gold is up five bucks, silver seven pennies. Lights we could up a buck. <clears throat> Natural gas up six cents. Thirty year Treasury up 18 ticks, printing out at 126.23. And leading the charge dollar wise, the upside you got Mercado Libre up 32 bucks, Super Micro Computer up 16 bucks, 7 percent, Upspot 15 bucks, 3 percent, NVIDIA 15 bucks, 3 percent, ServiceNow 14 bucks, about 3 percent. To the downside is Old Dominion up 10 bucks, that's about a, nearly a 3 percent, 2.7 percent, Insulin Corp down 3.3 percent, nearly 10 dollars, Saya, the freight company off nearly 5 bucks, 1.3 percent, Nike down 270, that's a little about, about a 2.5 percent move to the downside. Said. Of course, I want to look at what you want to look at. We've got a couple of requests. Uh, really, I came in late yesterday we didn't get to, so we'll get to those. But first, let's take a look at the general market conditions. Let's begin by taking a look at that TAS market breadth for its 30-minute time frame. Market conditions as we speak right now for the NDX 100, 195, I'm sorry, for the S&P, 195 above, 87 below. That is a very bullish-looking set of configurations for the 30-minute time frame chart. In the case of the NQ, it's 28 above and 23 below. So it's kind of close there, but it still is bullish market breadth. Let's Let's take a look at the market breadth for the other four time frames that we monitor. That would be the 60 minute, the, the uh, 240, the daily and the weekly. And for the S&P 500, we're bullish across the board. So the S&P 500 bullish across the board for all of its TAS market breadth time frames that we monitor. The same can be said for the NASDAQ 100. The issue that it has, those these indices, are that simply prices sitting up at resistance levels. If we take a look at the daily equity future contracts out here, you'll see the ES Mini taken on the top of its profile, 44.75. It's also got a, a, a swing point out here from uh, June 16th, that high is 44.94. The NQ taking on profile resistance. It's trading into its bearish structure profile area. That's between 15.265, 15.370. Right now, the Dow is up above the top of its daily profile, but there is a new weekly profile that's formed. Resistance at 34.689. So it's trading with inside a sell zone. That's between 34.544. 
34.689. And the Russell 2000 to top it off, also getting up towards the top of its daily profile. That's up at 19.18. So I expect that the majority of the gains are in for the day. We probably see a uh, move uh, sideways. The market is open on Monday. Not sure. A two-day rally makes sense. I'm not sure about Monday. Now, Monday's market closes at 1, so we won't be hosting shows. We'll be hosting shows again come Wednesday. I'll be recording my show on Wednesday between 8 and 9 in the morning, so please tune in live there. So that's what's going on with regard to market breadth. Even though it's bullish, we still know that price is running into all these sellers for the four equity future contracts. And that's why Stevie thinks the more logical um, view of the market right now is we've pretty much seen the highs for the day. In other words, I don't think the market's going to get much further ahead of where we're at right now. So I do hope that that helps you out. Um, what else do we need to take a look at? I would say not a whole lot. However, what I would say, what I would suggest, I just have a couple of requests that are in. And I really appreciate all the requests that have come in, either from the Tiger's Den or from email. If you please keep sending those off to me, it makes the show run a lot smoother. Plus, I uh, provide you with exactly the information, hopefully the exact information that you're looking for with regard to an instrument. For example, yesterday, Jane sent in an email. I didn't see it until we were off the air. And that was to take a look at N. Video. Now I'm going to which charts my I'm gonna stay in the black background charts for the moment. And the reason is let me get the NVIDIA charts up here, is because Jane was asking about the Bollinger bands for the monthly time frame. So I'm gonna put up the monthly chart here for uh, NVIDIA. Now, Jane, I only use Bollinger Bands on one thing and one thing only. That doesn't mean that's all I use it on. I use it for the spot volatilities, and I don't use the standard 22. I use a 51 combination here. 22 is where we're set right now. So I'm really not the right guy to ask about Bollinger Bands out here, but I do have the Bollinger Bands on the chart here for NVIDIA. What NVIDIA is really showing to you and I, now this is a monthly time frame chart. You asked about the monthly chart. The monthly has a B point, an A to B equals CD pattern. The B point was November of 2021. One billion and 81 million shares traded then. When that was passed, it was 1.1 billion. So on a monthly basis, you have a confirmed A to B equals CD to the upside. Well, turns out that the one to one price projection gain is 423.49. We're trading at 422.79. During the month, it's had a spike higher than that. We've traded up to 439. The things that I would have you look at here. First, along the, the C to D leg, price has been on a substantial rise or during this leg. It is a much stronger leg, C to D, than A to B was. What does that tell us? That tells us that what we should see NVIDIA do longer term is make its move up to 509.26. I'm not saying it does that tomorrow, but I am saying that that's what the A to B equals CD patterns. This is irrespective of, of the Bollinger Bands out there. Again, I'm really not the right guy. I can take a look at these Bollinger Bands and see we for months you could have price trading above it. So I wouldn't get too caught up into the fact that uh, that price is trading above uh, that uh, Bollinger Band reading. If we take a look at weekly and daily, the only real profile levels that NVIDIA is dealing with is the uh, daily set of profiles. Its next area of resistance, Jane, is up at 439.90. That is the top of that uh, profile out there. So I hope that helped answer your question. Uh, if I do, well, let me just uh, move over and take a look at the, well, I'll tell you what, we'll do this when we get back from this break here. Let's finish our review of NVIDIA by looking at the uh, the daily and the uh, weekly charts on the white background system. We'll do that as soon as we get back. Tigers and Tigresses, get ready for our annual 4th of July Tiger Dollar Sale. From now until July 7th, you can receive a 20, 30, or even a 40% bonus when you purchase Tiger Dollars. Tiger Dollars are automatically applied to your account and can be used for all subscriptions and purchases. Don't wait, this sale ends July 7th. Visit TFNN.com today to purchase Tiger Dollars and receive a 20, 30, or even a 40% bonus. As an added bonus, every order comes with a special TFNN mug. Happy 4th, Tigers! TFNN, educating investors. Currencies, commodities, and bond markets are as important as ever right now with how they're driving the volatility in equity markets across the globe, which is why it's a great time to try out Teddy Kegstat's Tiger Forex report. 
Teddy Kegstaff breaks down the Forex markets every Monday using his 30 plus years of experience as a trading veteran of futures, Forex, stocks, and options. Teddy releases his weekly Tiger Forex report every Monday morning with coverage of all the major currency pairs, including the dollar index, the euro dollar, pound dollar, dollar Swiss, dollar yen, as well as many more. And he also has weekly coverage of the crude oil market and the 30 year T-bonds as they both influence Forex markets tremendously. When you sign up for the Tiger Forex Report, you also gain instant access to Teddy's 60-minute webinar archive he just hosted, Forex Strategies and Fundamentals, What is Behind the Tiger Forex Report. For all the details and to start your 30-day Tiger Forex Report subscription today, visit the front page of TFNN.com. TFNN, educating investors. You might think that if you want to be successful at trading in the stock market, you're going to need a crystal ball. After all, it's impossible to predict the future, right? Like any endeavor in life, before you decide it's impossible, get some advice from the experts. You might find that it's not so impossible after all. For daily market overviews that give you direction on the key indices, selective stocks, and commodities, subscribe to the opening call newsletter at TFNN.com. The opening call newsletter is written by Basil Chapman, creator of the trading methodology known as the Chapman Wave. The Chapman Wave up-down sequence gives you an edge in identifying price turns, finding the peaks and valleys in stock prices. Get the opening call newsletter by Basil Chapman in your inbox every day. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know, and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. TFNN.com, educating investors. Steve Rhodes started his trading career as a student almost 20 years ago, and the student has now become the master. Steve won the prestigious Timer of the Year Award in 2018 and barely missed that mark again in 2019, finishing at number two for the year. An amazing accomplishment. Steve Rhodes is committed to sharing his techniques and knowledge with anyone who wants to learn. And he shares his vast amount of trading knowledge every day in his Mastering Probability newsletter. Steve's award-winning newsletter, Mastering Probability, is delivered every trading day with updates throughout the afternoon. Sign up for Steve's market newsletter, Mastering Probability, and you'll receive access to seven of Steve's educational webinars absolutely free. At TFNN, all our newsletters come with a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have absolutely nothing to worry about. Visit TFNN.com and try Mastering Probability 30 days risk-free today. TFNN, educating investors. C C call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Welcome back, uh, folks. So we're taking a look at the stock charts here for NVIDIA. We've got the daily, weekly, monthly up on our screen out here. So, Jane, what I'd be watching for, you're going to get a confirmed TD9 count top on the uh, weekly chart. That's going to, bar number nine is going to complete uh, today unless this thing falls off the cliff and we're to close below 393.27. But I don't think that's a likely outcome. Now, the top can actually come on the bar following bar number nine, so you could get the high that comes in next week. So the pattern completes next week, but you'd have a confirmed TD9 count top uh, at the end of today's trading session. So you've got a road momentum indicator signal on the daily time frame. What I'd be watching for here is a bullish reversal candle. That pattern has not been confirmed. If we get a bearish reversal candle, not today, you know, uh, Wednesday, Thursday, something along those lines, could, could be Monday as well. We're open until 1 o'clock or the market is. But to get a bearish reversal candle, uh, then that could be signaling to you and I that NVIDIA is getting ready to pull back. And that pullback target here would be about 378.29. That's coming off of the weekly chart. The monthly looks very good. We, t we covered the monthly. Um, you know, it's got that confirmed A to B equals C to the upside. So I still believe it's going to go target that next area. But in the shorter term, we could be seeing a, um, um, a retracement back uh, to an area of support inside of NVIDIA. The first area would be 41279. The second area would be 37828 or so. Don't use those cents to the uh, to the penny, so to speak. So hope that helped you out. Thanks so much for waiting an extra day on NVIDIA. The next question that came in from yesterday was from Joe, and his question was, has natural gas bottom? So let's go take a look at the natural gas charts out here and try to answer that question for him. Actually, first, let's do this. Let's switch screens. 
and we'll take a look at just kind of longer term view, although this does have monthly weekly on it. But let's just switch screens here just for a moment. Um, let's get to the natural gas charts out here. So we take a look at natural gas. We're looking at the August contract. The uh, upper left is your daily time frame. Upper right is weekly. Lower left is monthly. Lower right is quarterly. So here's what we know about natural gas. The daily is looking pretty good right now, right? Right. It's dealing with the top of its daily profile, $2.77. Now, it's possible that yesterday was the next buy area inside of natural gas. That was really the question. Why would that be? Well, number one, you've got price that pulled back and basically tested the center of its bullish structured profile. So that's an area that can be a buy. The buy zone would be between 255 and 261. Uh, yesterday's low was down at uh, 2.616. So that's a possibility. It could be setting up an A to B equal CD to the upside that would take us up to the $3.31. There was a smaller A to B equal CD that had formed, um, and that came in right here. That top was confirmed on the trading day of June 20th. That led to just a one-day pullback. So that was telling us about strength inside of natural gas, strength for a change out here. The real level, as we take a look at the natural gas contract, that price is going to need to overcome, Joe, to really answer your question as a bottom, is going to be the top of its bearish structured weekly profile. And that's up at $2.88, $2.884 to be exact. So that's where price needs to close above to suggest that uh, there is a bottom. Now, it does have a bottom on the daily time frame, so that's for sure. We do have that. The question is, or maybe it's the it's the weekly time frame. I apologize. It's the weekly time frame. It's this set of three candles right here that formed, in essence, a Rhodes Mintum Indicator bottom pattern. That's a Three River Morning Star pattern. So the weekly does have a bottom pattern. It's the daily that uh, maybe doesn't. As, as now my recollection out here. So that's what's going on. We take a look at this set of profiles for natural gas. Let's go flip over, take a look at those white background charts, see if there's any additional information that we can glean from it, from them. When we take a look at the daily time frame, what we also have out here is price pulled back and it was testing its green oscillator and change line. So in addition, in addition to in addition to testing the, the bullish structured, oops, no, we'll go live here. In addition to testing the bullish structured area of its daily profile price also pulled back and has tested and rejected that green oscillator and change line. Send us for the last two days. That is also a bullish outcome. Still has got that resistance both at the top of its daily and its weekly profile, 2.884. And then on the uh, daily profile, well, I've got two different numbers out here. The black background chart showed us 277. This white background chart shows uh, $2.93 out there. So I'd say 288 to 293 is going to be the uh, sell zone out there. Um, what else can we look at inside of natural gas? Now, August is the contract that makes up the entirety at this moment in time for UNG or for BOIL. That'll change over the course of the next week or so as the September contract gets introduced to it. Um, on a intraday basis, the five-hour chart, if you look at the bottom right, shows a buy the D point pattern. That basically uh, followed through for all of the uh, uh, time frames on the uh, bottom. So you've got that. And on the five-hour chart, prices above uh, the uh, top of that profile, as well as the screen oscillator and change line. So natural gas is looking good. You're just dealing again with that weekly area out there. So I do hope that helped answer your question, Joe. And thanks so much for taking the time. Well, you didn't have much of a choice. I did respond to you yesterday, though. So that probably helped you out as well. Hector and the fuel injectors, Hector and Patty, they want to take a look at the QQQs. And they're asking about the A to B equals CD patterns out there. So let's switch back to those black background screens. Let's go to our three time frame charts out here. Let's put in the QQQ series ETF. Now, there's several A to B equals CD patterns. And when there are several, especially if you're taking a look at the daily out here. So as an example, when you take a look at this daily chart, where would you put in the A to B equals CD? Because there's several of them that are out here. When I get a chart like that, I will tell you what I do first, and that is I try to get rid of some of the noise. So if I'm on a daily chart, I want to start looking at the weekly and the monthly. I like to really look at the monthly, but I look at either time, both time frames, just to see if there's any type of clear delineation. Well, it turns out here's the monthly chart. When I take a look at the monthly chart, the clearest delineation that it gives to me as far as where should the A to B equals CD pattern. So let's do that. Let me get rid of this Bollinger Band that is out here. Let me spread this uh, screen out because we're just going to take a look at the biggest A to B equals CD, the one that has the least amount of noise out here. 
Um, so let's let me give me if you would be kind enough, give me a moment. Of course, you're like, hey, Steve, do we have a choice? Um, well, you do. If you don't give me a moment, you turn the show off. I don't want you to do that. So let's get rid of those Bollinger bands. So here, boy. You know, the A point is going to take us all the way back to its uh, lows out here for the Qs. That was back in 2008. The Qs did not bottom in 2009. The Qs bottomed in 2008 out here. So that's the A point down at uh, January um, of uh, 2000 and or was that no, uh, November of 2008. So the B point that I would be using out here is going to be this high from October of 2018. Ten-year move out there. And then the retracement would be right here. That would be one that you could use. The other one that you could use, uh, we'll, we'll put this one in here as well. We're going to use the same A point out here, but the uh, B point that I would be using, got to turn on the tool. So let's do the second one. Here's the second one. I, what I would be, I'm looking at both of these are the retracement levels. At least this one's 34%. So there's your, at least your one to one A to B equals CD. That's on the monthly time frame. Um, and we'll take a look at the further, the weekly A to B equals CD and the daily as soon as we get back from this break. The Gold Report. As a precious metal, gold is still king. It continues to hold the most effective safe haven and hedging properties across the global major trading hubs of the London OTC market, the U.S. futures market, and the Shanghai Gold Exchange. The Gold Report. Tom O'Brien publishes his weekly gold report every Monday morning for subscribers, consisting of coverage of the XAU, HUI, GDX, the dollar, bonds, the South African Rand, as well as 25 different mining equities with specific buy-sell recommendations. The Gold Report. New subscribers get a 30-day money-back guarantee so you have nothing to risk. Subscribe to Tom O'Brien's Gold Report newsletter now at TFNN.com. TFNN has just launched their new trading room, The Tiger's Den. Hosted at Discord, TFNN has been educating traders for more than 20 years with live programming hosted by a variety of professional traders during market hours. And now they are expanding their reach with The Tiger's Den. Available to all tigers and tigresses for just $1 for the year. There's no cash or added costs when you join our community of traders. In The Tiger's Den, you can look over the shoulders of Tom O'Brien and the other TFNN hosts while they analyze charts during their live Tiger TV programs and join an interactive trading community with hundreds of members exchanging ideas. Interact with other Tigers and Tigresses as they share trading ideas, news analysis, and discuss the market action all trading day, even at night and on the weekends. The Tigers Den at Discord is accessible on mobile or tablets as well, so it's always at your reach. To sign up today and become a part of this educational community of traders, just visit the front page of TFM. Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern. For free, each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Welcome back. 
We're taking a look at the charts here for the Qs. The uh, right-hand side, the right panel, the monthly time frame chart, you know, I've drawn in an A to B equals CD pattern there. And this A to B equals CD does not match the weekly time frame chart. When I take a look at the weekly time frame chart, we introduce some additional noise. Here, the A, B, and C points are really very clear. The A point is going to be down at the low from back in 2022. We take a look at this weekly time frame chart. Our B point is going to be up at the high that formed on January of 2023. We get a 47 or 48 percent pullback. It's right in the support, the bottom of profile. That's up the that sets up the C point. It is the only logical A B C pattern on the weekly time frame chart. So Hector and Patty, the next price target here is 381. I know you've got a 440. I believe it was 440 price target out there. So I think we're using different A to B equals CD levels out there. But uh, here you've got, if you're watching on the show, you've got mine. So, um, you know, you can take a look at that. On the daily time frame, if I expand out the daily chart out here, and uh, you would ask me to draw an A to B equals CD, even though you could go all the way back here to the swing point from October 13, 2022, because it moved up and came all the way back in that area, I'm just going to use a more conservative approach. Use the low from December 28th of 2022. And then it's very clear, I'm going to use this high uh, that came in on February February 2nd and then a low on March the 13th you can see we're at the 1 to 1 1.618 out here a price can close above this is the cues that we're talking about the top of its profile 370.45 I'd say really needs to close above the high that formed out here back on June 16th and that's up at 372.85 a price closes above that hector and patty that would be a signal of 393 being the next price target area so those are the a to b equals cd patterns that i see when i take a look at the daily the weekly and the monthly time frame and i hope that helps you out and please uh and i know that you will write back to me with any questions that you have and i'll be happy to get back to to you let's go to our next question uh we've got a, a series here coming in from dan inside the tigers den dan thanks for that uh the first request is to take a look at ticker symbol aspm we're going to change screens out here let's go to the white background screens we'll take a look at the daily weekly and monthly there just uh, provide us with the signals that we're looking for so aspn trading right now at uh, about uh, 771, sometimes I have a little bit of a delay between my white uh, screens out here and the black data feed. But here's what we know right now. And what we know is that price is uh, dealing with the center of its uh, slightly bullish structured profile out there. Because price had been below this stand for more than two consecutive sessions, that is where a counter trend move would end. So you're going to be watching the center of that profile. The center of that profile is 774. If you close below it, uncertain is all I would say, uncertain as to whether it's just a counter trend move. And that could be the uh, C point of an A to B equals CD. I say could, I don't know um, at this moment in time. But that's what I'd be, what I do know is what I'd be watching for. And that's that profile level. If you can close above that, then that would be good news. And that would say you head back to 814. Weekly time frame chart is nothing more than a consolidation with inside its profile that ranges between 592 and 849. The monthly time frame chart shows a price had a TD9, well, it topped with a TD9 count top, pulled all the way back to its breakout level, didn't form a pattern down there, but sometimes pulling back to the breakout level can be a pattern. So let's bring it on home, Stevie, for Aspen. The monthly chart says, look for a bottom. The weekly chart says, I've got a TD9 count and a Rhodes momentum indicator bottom that's led to a consolidation. The daily time frame chart could just be in a consolidation as well. That's pretty easy when you see that out here. That looks like this if we just simply draw that pattern in. Give me a moment, we'll get to our rectangular tool. So at the highs, it's pretty easy to identify and you've got that little cluster down at the lows. <clears throat> so where's that leave us on the daily? Again, if you close above that uh, center of that profile, it becomes clearer for me. That's at 774. That says you head up to 814 or the top of the consolidation. So, Dan, that's what I see when I take a look at Aspen Aero Gels out there. Hope that that helps you out. Your next request was to take a look at LTBR. So let's pull that up on our screen out here. LTBR is, uh, well, I thought I did. What did we do there? There we go. LTBR is Lightbridge Corporation trading out at 579 right now. 
It looks like it's going to go target 594. 594 is the top of its daily profile out there. It's above a green oscillator and change on the daily. Um, it's above profiles on the weekly. It's trading in the resistance profiles on the monthly. So the deal here is that you're dealing with resistance right now, $5.76 at 579 if price can close above that, that would be for the month of June. That would be a nice positive outcome. Uh, it does suggest that you could see a weekly TD9 count top either next week or the following week. If we get a rally and price can spike above last week's high, last week's high was 594, that would then trigger on a weekly basis a TD9 count pattern. On the daily, you actually have a confirmed roads momentum indicator top. But again, with price being above, it's green oscillator and change line. Odds favor a further move higher. It's not telling us that it's going to get above 594. And if it doesn't and that top remains, and then you get a TD9 count top, then I'd be looking for this thing to pull back, especially with the monthly sitting at resistance right now. So when we take a look at Lightbridge Corporation out here, looking good, but says be careful, be cautious, because you could see some topping action sometime next week or the week after. And finally, what Dan wanted to take a look at was Nike. Nike out with earnings after the bell. Really not that big of a move to the downside. Price still remains above the top of its profile, above its oscillator and change line. It looks more. Now, what, what we do have in Nike is a Gartley sell pattern. And that uh, Gartley sell pattern is really confirming right now today because of this gap to the downside. So you had an A to B equals C to I'll just simply draw that in here. And of course, it was an expansion of that uh, B of that uh, C to D leg. Here's A to B. If I were to move this over to the C point, you can see it was an expansion. But as we move this all the way up to the top, what we didn't get until today so far was a bearish reversal candle out there. So this little gap to the downside says you've got a short term top. Now, the first level of support here is going to be that oscillator and change line. So that's at 109.46, below that 108.66. 108.66, Dan, is the area to really pay attention to. If price gets back inside the profile, then it opens up that door for a test of its support zone, 105.62 to 106.63. We don't have that message right now, but we do know what to look for should that unfold. On a weekly time frame, you have a confirmed Gartley buy pattern. Price this week reached its oscillator and change line, which is red, not the bullish sign that you were looking for. So here it rejected that level. That would suggest you could see move back to 105.48 to 108.06. It ties into the 108.66, 109.48 area coming from the daily time frame. And on the monthly chart, uh, price has just simply held the bottom of its monthly profile. So in the case of Nike, <clears throat> It still looks bullish, and it's looking bullish because of the TD9 count on the monthly, because of the Gartley buy pattern on the weekly chart. The weekly chart said, though, I'm not ready to take off to the upside because I found resistance at that red oscillator and change line. That means we have a falling price oscillator below zero. And the daily today confirms a, ro a uh, sell the D point pattern. So I do believe Nike is getting ready to pull back at least to support, and we'll go with that 108.66 as the price target to the downside. We get back from this break, we're going to take a look at Nike. I'm sorry, we did that. We're going to take a look at M-A-N-U-R-I-G. Uh, what else are we going to look at here? It looks like Apple is a request. Ford as well. See roads with TF and N. We'll be right back. You might think that if you want to be successful at trading in the stock market, you're going to need a crystal ball. After all, it's impossible to predict the future, right? Like any endeavor in life, before you decide it's impossible, get some advice from the experts. You might find that it's not so impossible after all. For daily market overviews that give you direction on the key indices, selective stocks, and commodities, subscribe to the opening call newsletter at TFNN.com. The opening call newsletter is written by Basil Chapman, creator of the trading methodology known as the Chapman Wave. The Chapman Wave up-down sequence gives you an edge in identifying price turns, finding the peaks and valleys in stock prices. Get the opening call newsletter by Basil Chapman in your inbox every day. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know, and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. TFNN.com, educating investors. 
Everything in the universe is governed by the Fibonacci sequence. This mathematical principle is responsible for everything, from the most aesthetically pleasing artwork to patterns in the stock market. To stay on top of stock patterns you can take advantage of, sign up for the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter at TFNN.com. When you subscribe, you'll get a weekly report from veteran day trader Larry Pesavento on stocks you need to pay attention to. And you can trust Larry's analysis. After all, he's got 45 years experience as a day trader. Larry will also provide daily charts, videos, and data on the key markets that he's tracking. Expect notifications from Larry on market movement you need to act on at any time. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. Subscribe to the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter today. TFNN.com. Educating investors. Are China A shares hot or not? If you trade China A shares, now may be time to take a closer look. Trade CHAU or CHAD, Directions Daily CSI 300 China A share bull and bear ETFs. China A shares in either direction. Visit directioninvestments.com today. An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the direction shares carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about direction shares. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact direction shares at 866-476-7523. The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors, such as traders and active investors. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. This program is brought to you by Vista Gold, traded on the NYSE American and TSX under the symbol VGZ. Welcome back, uh, folks. Right now, you got the uh, Dow trading up 207 points. S&P's up 41. NASDAQ 100, 200. Russell's up 9. Semi's up 47. Trade is up 103 out there. Gold up 8 bucks. Silver up 13 cents. Lights recruit up a buck. We're taking a look at Man U, M A N U. That is uh, Manchester United. And that is for Tarpon 2 inside the uh, Tigers' den. Are you, a big, uh, are you a big soccer fan, football fan, I guess I should say, uh, uh, Tarpon? Uh, if we take a look at uh, Manchester United, pretty easy to see what it's uh, doing or what it has done out here, and that's the following. If we take a look at the weekly time frame chart, what you'll see out here is this confirmed erosement of indicator top. It does that the week of February 24th. Then if we just simply slide over and take a look at what's transpired on the monthly chart since then, Tarpon, it's been nothing more than a round trip with inside its profile levels. With resistance, we know where that's at, 2565. You're approaching that right now, and support being the bottom of its profile at 1718. The daily chart shows price above profile, above its green oscillator and change line. That's a bearish structured profile. This will be day number three above that. It suggests another run for resistance. So again, we're looking at 2565 to the most recent high, which I believe is the all-time high out there, very close to it. The weekly chart, you're above profile. It's green oscillator and change line. That suggests moving higher. And so it just really takes us back to that monthly time frame chart. So Manchester United, if you can't bust out of 2569 or thereabouts, you could see another round trip all the way back down to 1718. So just make sure you've got your stops in place out there. But that's what Manchester United has been doing. And Tarpon, too, I do hope that that helps you out. Thanks so much for the request. Fletch inside the Tigers then wants to take a look at Rig. R-I-G out there is a buyout possible. Ah, I see. Okay. Um, well, I'm just uh, telling you what the uh, stock charts are communicating. You know, fundamentally, obviously, you know, uh, 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 consider consider that. But we know where resistance is at. That's for sure. With regard to uh, Rig, R-I-G, that is for Fletch inside the uh, Tiger's Den. Transocean. Right now, you got to love today's move, and you'd really love to see this close the day above $6.74. Why? Well, for a couple reasons. One, that would be a close above a TD nine count breakdown area, and that suggests a change in trend. Number two, it would generate an A to B equals CD pattern. Now, the B point out there has volume of 14.1 million shares. You've already done 16 million shares today. Let's draw this pattern in. A to B, that's pretty easy. Everybody can see that. 
it's really easy to see the uh, C point as well. Now, I'm not going to redraw this or copy. I'm just going to simply move this over to the C point level. Uh, i got to do this to do that. I need just a little bit more space, basically. And then we just need to grab. There we go. So there's your C to D. So it looks like about $6.98. So it's approaching the one-to-one -one A to B equals C to D. When, when you have a wide-ranging bar like this, Fletch, and it's approaching the D point of an A to B equals CD. That is now how that is not how it forms tops. Now I'm not saying that over the course of the next several sessions, two three sessions, that you couldn't get small bodied candles, telling you that it's pooped out, and then get a reversal. But at least right now we can say that uh, the move should not be over inside of rig today. Wide ranging bar, accelerating volume, taking out swing points. You're above profiles. You're above a green oscillator and change line. You're above a TD9 count breakdown level. This wants to move higher. And inside the weekly time frame chart, which did top with the TD9 count pattern, price pulled back to the center of that bullish structured profile out there. And now you are above or you're going to close the week above a green oscillator and change line, something that has not taken place place a uh, close above a oscillator and change on green especially since march 10th out there this is going to suggest what rig wants to do is make a run for 769 so you've got the a to b equals cd pattern you got 769 as a price projection level and even on the monthly chart although it's kind of hard to see out here we'll make it less hard to see price is above profile that profile formed below price that's a bullish signal so we'd have to say, Fletch, that everything looks pretty hunky-dory inside of Rigatoni. I hope that that helps you out. Thanks much for taking the time for a request out there. The next request coming in from John C. in the Tiger's Den. He's asking, how high can Apple go? You know, John, in order to answer that question, we're going to have to go back to those black background charts. So let's just flip back over there. And uh, because what we need to do... What I need to do is take an expansion of swing points. So I might already have this done. I might have done this for Nancy yesterday or maybe just for myself. Or who did I do it for? I guess nobody. Let's do it now. So let's take a look at because I've just got retracement level. So that's not what we wanted. That's odd. I know I did it. Where did I do it? It doesn't really matter, Stevie. Just give the gang what they need. So. What I would do for my next price projection level, I'm just trying to wide this uh, stock chart out here for you, John, is simply Fibonacci expansion of swing points. So I'm going to the monthly time frame. It's just very clear out here. And let's just make sure I've got this tool set to expansion mode. I did not. Now we've got expansion. So I'm going to go from the high, which was January of 2022, down to the low, which is January of 2023. So the next price projection level I'm not saying this is where it poops out, but the next price projection level is 198.93. Now, today is going to become bar number six of a TD9 count pattern. Here on the weekly chart, by the way, an A to B equals CD to the upside gets us to, well, here's where I did the uh, expansions. Okay, so we've got 197.63. The one, on the weekly base, the one to 1.618, A to B equals CD gets us up to, I'm sorry, 197.63 is the 1.618 A to B equals CD, and 198.93 is the 1.272 expansion. That's the next price target area, John. That's the best thing that I can come up with. I will flip back here and take a look at the daily time frame chart. You will see that today is going to become bar number six of a TD9 count. So we could see a TD9 count pattern unfold late next week. Will it be on Friday, right? So this is bar number seven, bar number eight. Eight would be on Monday, bar number nine on Wednesday. So uh, by Thursday, you could get a completed TD9 count top inside of Apple. The weekly says I'm not ready to top. And the monthly is really saying the same thing out there. So I'm going to go with the 198 area is the uh, next price target inside of Apple. Let's take a look at uh, Ford. This is for BD inside the Tiger's Den. And BD wants to know where are retracement levels in Ford. Ford is on a tear out here. Ford right now is trading above daily profiles. It is trading above its daily, its weekly, its daily green oscillator and change line. It has no topping pattern. It took out a TD nine count pattern two days ago. This wants higher. I know you want retracement levels, but Stevie is saying, or the charts are saying, hey, I want to make a further run higher. That further run higher, as far as the next resistance area inside of Ford, is at 1643. Yeah, 1643. That's the top of its monthly profile. Now, odds favor that we're going to get up there. Why? This is actually the first month since 
Oh, I take that back. This is the first month since uh, November of 2022 that we've seen a close above a prior monthly high. And uh, that is a uh, little bit of a bullish outcome out there. So that's what I see when I take a look at Ford. As far as retracement levels, the area to be looking at right now, the support area out here, BD, that would be at 1461 to 1468. That is the top of the daily profile and the daily oscillator unchanged line. So I hope that helps you out. But Ford looks pretty good right now. That doesn't mean we don't have pullback, but it does look pretty good. Looks like it wants to target $16.43. Steve Rhodes with TFM. We'll be right back. We'll find something to close out the show with. If you're looking for potential trading setups in the stock market, then Rocket Equities and Options Report is a newsletter you should try. Tommy O'Brien delivers options and equity trades when the markets present them using a combination of fundamentals and technicals. Sign up for Rocket Equities and Options Report today with a 30-day money-back guarantee so you have nothing to risk. For all the details and to start your subscription today, visit the front page of TFNN.com. TFNN, educating investors. You might think that if you want to be successful at trading in the stock market, you're going to need a crystal ball. After all, it's impossible to predict the future, right? Like any endeavor in life, before you decide it's impossible, get some advice from the experts. You might find that it's not so impossible after all. For daily market overviews that give you direction on the key indices, selective stocks, and commodities, subscribe to the opening call newsletter at TFNN.com. The opening call newsletter is written by Basil Chapman, creator of the trading methodology known as the Chapman Wave. The Chapman Wave up-down sequence gives you an edge in identifying price turns, finding the peaks and valleys in stock prices. Get the opening call newsletter by Basil Chapman in your inbox every day. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know, and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. TFNN.com, educating investors. Everything in the universe is governed by the Fibonacci sequence. This mathematical principle is responsible for everything from the most aesthetically pleasing artwork to patterns in the stock market. To stay on top of stock patterns you can take advantage of, sign up for the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter at TFNN.com. When you subscribe, you'll get a weekly report from veteran day trader Larry Pesavento on stocks you need to pay attention to. And you can trust Larry's analysis. After all, he's got 45 years experience as a day trader. Larry will also provide daily charts, videos, and data on the key markets that he's tracking. Expect notifications from Larry on market movement you need to act on at any time. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. Subscribe to the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter today. TFNN.com. Educating investors. Tigers and Tigresses, get ready for our annual 4th of July Tiger Dollar Sale. From now until July 7th, you can receive a 20, 30, or even a 40% bonus when you purchase Tiger Dollars. Tiger Dollars are automatically applied to your account and can be used for all subscriptions and purchases. Don't wait, this sale ends July 7th. Visit TFNN.com today to purchase Tiger Dollars and receive a 20, 30, or even a 40% bonus. As an added bonus, every order comes with a special TFNN mug. Happy 4th, Tigers. TFNN, educating investors. Folks, so we've got the uh, charts for the ES Mini up on our screen right now. As I mentioned, as we began the show, the rally for the day should pretty much be uh, over. Um, price is up at the top of its uh, uh, of its uh, profile, up at the 4474-ish uh, level out there. It has triggered a rose momentum indicator signal, so bearish reversal candle would confirm a top there. A five-hour time frame chart, 300-minute chart, has a, a TD9 count top out there. Uh, who's uh, got a mic open uh, out there, Al? Uh, the 240-minute time frame chart has price back at its TD9 count breakdown area at 44.76. The uh, two-hour chart has a TD9 count top that is now in place. The 60-minute chart will confirm a TD9 count top in about uh, three and a half minutes or so. 
Uh, the 30-minute chart uh, at is probably an A to B equal CD. Sell the D point pattern. The 15-minute chart's got TD nine count top. So I don't expect things to get really rock and roll into the downside, rip to the downside. It could, uh, but we probably have seen the highs for the day, and we just see kind of a sideways choppiest type market. So the question is, we're up at resistance. We took a look at that. We looked at the daily equity future contracts. Are pr prices going to break out of that, or is this the place to sell? Over the last 95 years out here, this is the chart for the S&P 500. Over the last 95 years, look at the very bottom right. What is the best performing month of the year out of 12 for the S&P 500? And the answer there is July. And when we come back next week, well, really on Monday, the market will be open. Uh, we will be in July. Now, typically what the S&P 500 does is it rallies from about June the 24th, 5th, 6th, right around there. And then it kind of tops out in the middle of July and then moves sideways before it has its big thump to the downside. Now, that's the last 95 years. Let's not start. Let's not stop there. Let's look at the last 25 years. Last 25 years, we're also in a favorable seasonal cycle. How about the last 15 years? Again, a very favorable seasonal cycle for the S&P 500 for the last 15 years. How about the last 10? The same thing. How about the last five? But in the last five, let's get rid of 2020 out there. And again, for all time frames, no matter how many years, we're in a very favorable seasonal cycle. In fact, it's the best time of the year for the S&P 500. Folks, stay tuned for great programming. I'll see you on Wednesday. Please have a fantastic holiday weekend. Be safe out there. And uh, we'll see you soon. Take care enough.